Rebecca, I wanted to get on and do another math video. Hopefully it won't take too long today. I'm going to try to keep it as quick and as inspiring and as exciting as I can. We are going to talk about math though. And one thing that I'm really passionate about when it comes to math is counting versus not counting. And the reason for that is I did every, what everybody else does when you have a little kid running around, you're teaching them to count. What else would you do as a good mom? You're going to teach them how to count one, two, three, four, and just keep right on going because when they start school or when you want to start schooling them or whatever, they need to count to 100 or count to 10 or whatever. Well, Dr. Cotter with Right Start Math has really inspired me and made me so passionate about counting and actually about why counting is not math and why it doesn't work. So we are going to be talking about that today and I just want you to know that I was right up there with you, that I did the same thing and I realized afterwards why it's not working. That paradigm shift needs to switch. Is I had a really real life adult example of why this doesn't work. Two years ago, I started a martial arts journey. I started a Japanese form of martial arts and I'm excited with the kids. The kids and I are doing this together. We are very passionate now about martial arts. And during our classes at the dojo, we would be counting in Japanese. How awesome is that too? We also get to learn how to count in Japanese count. Okay. I learned just like I taught my children how to count. So we're punching. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roko, sichi, hachi, ku, ju. We are kicking counting to 10. We are doing our forms counting to 10. We are doing push-ups counting to 10, sit-ups counting to 10, everything. In no time flat, actually a little bit longer for mom. The kids were much faster at learning to count in Japanese than I was we learned how to count to 10. And then it was kind of interesting. And I shared this with Dr. Cotter even because I'm like, I can count to 10 in Japanese. I have no idea what this number is in Japanese. I have to count through the first seven to get to the eighth one. So what is this number in Japanese? Let's find out. Ichi ni san chi go roko sichi hachi. Hachi is this number. Learning to count does not teach math. What it teaches is a rhythm. I have the rhythm of the numbers. Ichi ni san chi go roko sichi hachi ku ju. I have to get through the first whatever to get to the number I want. And I'm like, holy cow, light bulb went off. I believe in her. What we need to do is teach our children to Subitize. We need to teach the word subitizing. And it's a funny word. And what that is, is to teach quantities as a whole. So that when you say the number three, you can see what it means. Because it has to go into the visual side of your brain, even with your children, in order for it to be mem remembered in the long term. Okay? So as you're learning something, it's getting stored and remembered into the visual side of your brain. So if you are teaching them the written numeral of three, which you just thought backwards, so it goes this way. The written numeral of three, then they're going to need to store it as a written language, which is symbols, which is art. That's not math, okay? It's getting stored in the wrong part of the brain. We need to teach them what three means, three. We need to teach them what five means. And subitizing is this. So if you have a really young child, really the best thing you can do instead of teaching how to count is when you, they get their snack or when you give them their stuffed animals or whatever, you hand it to them and you say three and you walk away. Or you hand them one, you say, oh, look, you got one bear, and walk away. You hand them two of them and say the same thing. Oh, here's two carrots, and walk away. Soon they're going to realize what the number means. And what's great, the way God created our brains, is that you can see up to five without having to count. You start to say, oh, you have five fingers, look, you have a middle. And when you start to look for that middle, the, it's instant. It really is. I've learned, re I've relearned math with my kids. It is actually just amazing because your brain can group up to five without having to count. So when you get to big numbers bigger than that, you group in groups of five, okay? God created you with five fingers on each hand. 
for a reason. You get to bigger numbers and it's really hard to see. So if you're trying to vision eight apples, all green up on a shelf, all lined up without grouping them, it's really hard to wrap your brain around it. But if you tell them, okay, five green apples, three red apples, you can see it because your brain like compartmentalizes that five and you see the three and it just works. So if I were to flash numbers at you, what is that without having to count? Well, it's a five and a four. Well, you know that's nine or this one. Oh, you can see it. And that's what we want to teach our children to do. If you teach them to count first, you still have to turn around and teach them a visual thing. So this is one reason why I'm so passionate about counting. One last thing for today, too, with counting, is that when you're counting on your fingers, you're naming them. You've given them names. That's really nice. So these are my names. This is what I tell people when I go to conferences. Uh, Amy, Joe, Carla, Luke, and Elena. Actually, I'm going to turn my hand this way. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. First I named them, and then I turned them around. All right, so we're going to name them again because you didn't understand the first time. Amy. Amy was here last time, but now Amy's here. Amy, Joe, Carla, Luke, and Elena. Did you get that? Yeah, because when I take one away, now how many do I have? Uh, and then you're teaching the kids they have to recount those. Well, that wasn't their name before. So it's not what math is. And that's what we want to really help our children do is understand what math is and what the numbers mean. When they have that root understanding, it really makes sense. Um, and it's, if you've already taught your child to count or you're already doing these things, just start reteaching. Don't back them up till them it's wrong. Just regroup it and start from where you're at and go from there. And it really, really works. So if you guys um, want to find me on Facebook, I do have a Facebook. I will be putting a link below. You can come find me, say hi, keep updated. And also if you're interested in more information on the Right Start Math, Dr. Cotter has put some presentations on her website and I'll leave a link below as far as getting links and getting more information about her research. She really has a lot of research and she shares it on her Facebook page or on her website. So that's www.writestartmath.com. I will put a link for that below. So please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye. That's a funny word. Super toys. I keep running off the side. I need to be less big, huh? So <laughs>